pace of knowledge is accelerating. In science, there's big problems out there and they're not easy to address. So we really need people with all kinds of talents to really work as teams and, and move things forward. There's a shortage from chemical engineering, biomedical engineering, biomechanic engineering, chemistry, biology. A lot of those jobs really are heavy into STEM and education. In medicine, almost everything we do ties in some element of the STEM curriculum. We are in a very exciting time in the world of education. There is a paradigm shift that's being experienced. Our teachers are the supporters guiding the students to be able to discover on their own, explore on their own, and ultimately learn on their own. Where the jobs are of the future, where the good paying jobs are, where the jobs that are meaningful, where the jobs that you can change the world, those are all jobs that are going to be STEM related. It's absolutely important that we do make STEM education a priority. STEM is more than just teaching science, technology, engineering, and math. It's really helping to integrate those subjects. So that's where Project Lead the Way is helping us meet these goals and meet these priorities. I think that some kids who weren't going to take a science class want to because it's not just out of a textbook. It's actually something they can actually be doing with their hands. We also have a lot of group work. I mean, every day students are collaborating together, which is how science really works. You're building these connections that students really see how something comes about. They're getting a chance to do stuff they never thought they were going to be able to do in high school. They're actually working with the CAD programs that professional engineers would be using. Students have been learning about the design process, how to go from an idea and a need all the way to a finished product. It's a basic course for some of the other programs such as the computer programming and the civil um, engineering and some of the other fields like aerospace. They can actually see themselves as an engineer in the future. Just creating things that will make life better for people in general is just so exciting. <laughs> I don't know exactly what kinds of problems yet, but I guess we'll figure them out eventually. It's important for students to see we get to use gel electrophoresis, which is a DNA separation technology, or learning more about genetics specifically and what a karyotype is when you're looking at chromosomes. A lot of them are surprised to learn about different positions in what, let's say, a clinical geneticist and what they do and how they would help a family or what a hematologist does, or how that's different than an oncologist. I'm interested in pharmacy, just learning about the body and different effects of diseases, I think is really going to prepare me. Both our biomedical science course and our Pathways to Engineering course, they kind of culminate in this capstone project. This strong way of ending and giving our students this real world connection. It is getting the students the chance to see and explore the world to make the world a better place, whether it be environmental or humanitarian. Our teachers, it's amazing. You can't even put into words how hard they've been working. We just have to provide our teachers with the support for, for learning because they need to constantly be pushing themselves. In order for us to stay ahead of the vision, to be the leaders in education in our region, in this nation, we need support from the generosity of benefactors to be able to support the acquisition of curriculum, the continued professional development of our educators. Our vision of academic excellence is very bold. It has to be bold. We are never done.